Ladies and gentlemen, Chess Rabbit here with the first and last video of 2020 and 2021. This is a two-parter. The first part we're going to deal with, well, my collection power and my top 20 people in the roster. And then we're going to deal with this part two. We're going to deal with what I'm going to be doing in 2021. The new features that are going to be on my channel. Now, I made a lot of videos in December and I have uploaded absolutely zero of them. So in January, we're going to have to do some catching up. I mean, I have to do a lot of editing and catching up, regardless of how old these things are now. I mean, as a matter of fact, I unlocked somebody <laughs> in in a, a event. Now, I forget who that person was. And two weeks later, I did the orb opening, and I still have yet to put that person into the event. I think it was the long shot event or something. I don't know what it was. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have all these things going on. We have some new features coming up in 2021, and I can't wait to tell you about it. So let's get to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, my collection power for the end of 2020 is 4.9 million. I'm dead close to 5 million, which is good, I guess. I don't know. That's good. If it's good, say it's good. Okay, the last, I, orb, I opened a bunch of orbs, red star orbs. As a matter of fact, I opened 61 of them. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 upgrades. Now, the upgrade that I accidentally pushed and I couldn't show you was Black Panther. He upgraded one star. I think he... What is Black Panther now? He's a two star. So he was a one star before and I upgraded him to two star. Two red stars. Woohoo! Yeah, I know. Big deal, right? Anyway, so these are all my red star promotions that I got from those 61 orbs. Eight people from 61 orbs. Plus, I got the new girl at four star. What is she? Yelena Belova? Yeah, got her at four stars. And I can recruit, as you can see, Shatterstar. He has 46 shards right now. And his event is not over, by the way. I still haven't opened any of his shards yet. Let me see how many, how many of these orbs I have in his event. Look at, look, at, look at all those gold stars. I still have 50. Still have 50. 50 red stars, I mean. Still have 50 of them. I opened 61 yesterday. Ah, okay. 41. So I'm trying to get Shadow Star to 5 star. He's already unlocked. As you saw, he's already unlocked. So if I can get him to 5 stars, woo, he'd be my second 5 star character. The first, of course, was Scream. We saw that event. Did you not see that event? Well, it's somewhere around. Go check it out. Okay, now let's look at the top 20 characters. None of these favorite people are the top 20, so we're going to skip past all those folks. And uh, Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think you go all the way down to Shuri. Yeah, there you go. She's number 20. Okay, top 20 for 2020. There you go. Shuri, legendary. 51, 895. What kind of. That's a healer. Level 3 healer. And there she is. Shuri. I unlocked her and I said, hey, let's do Shuri. I had her and Invisible Woman sitting around for a little bit. At maybe Shuri a couple of days and then say, so you know what? I like Shuri. She has everybody's all the content creators talk about her, so let's level her up. And now she's one of like one of my strongest tunes. Doesn't take long for some of these guys to be some of my strongest tunes. Red Stars has a lot to do with that, by the way. Next up, Mr. Sinister. Get him up to level 70. Did the T4 on his clown because when you do the T4 on his clown, his clown has T4s. 
So that's the only T4 I'm going to use on him. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to be doing too many T4s from now on. I, I could care less. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to get burned out trying to catch up on all these T4s and stuff. So, you know what? If a character needs a T4, then, uh, yeah, so what? I don't care. I, ew, I, don't, I don't care. Anyway, he's a level 3 healer. Um, yeah, level 3 healer. Those are his stats. 52, 551. Or 515. Or whatever. They're all fives and ones there. And yeah, there's a two there, too. Who's next? Star Lord. Yeah, another legendary. I wonder how many legendaries are in this top. Probably all of them. No? No, a visible woman's not up here. Okay, here we go. Star Lord. Is that a fortifier? Yeah, 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 yeah. Level 3 fortifier. I had to put fortifier on him because he dies too easy. Still dies easy. You know, this fortifier stuff really doesn't help these people from not dying. I mean, I did it for Thanos. I did it for Minerva. I did it for a couple of people. And they still sort of get killed off. But yeah, it does take a little longer to kill them though. So I guess it does help a little bit. Anyway, there you go. Level 3 fortifier. 53,000 Star Lord. Good. Tier 11. Another tier 11. Hawkeye. One of my strongest Avengers, if not the strongest Wave 1 Avenger. And for a long time, I didn't even touch this dude. And then all of a sudden, the Wave 1 Avengers come around and boom, bam, there you go. He's like the strongest thing there is. I had to do the T4 in his passive. You know I'm talking about, you know, don't do T4s. But I had to do the T4 in the passive so he can assist Black Widow and Black Widow can assist him. So I did her passive too. He's a level one whatever that is. Skirmisher, okay. I obviously have to fill this dude out a little bit so he can be at least a level two Skirmisher, but haven't gotten around to that yet. Well, at least he has a class. It'd be like some people like school and summer and have no class but yeah he has a class at least here we go Thanos 54 thousand only T4 passive right now and power Thanos only T4 he has is of course it's the same passive because it's what they're actually two different characters but they share all the same stats but all these little things that he does is different than regular Thanos so it's actually like Phoenix Two different characters. They just look exactly the same. But yeah. You either have Thanos or Empower Thanos. You're not going to have them both. So it's not like you kill one of the Black Orders and then like Thanos no longer becomes Empowered. It's like the same dude. Anyway, Fortifier, level 3. Like I said, it still dies. Not as quickly. But it still dies. This dude dies too. Ultron. Level 3 Striker. Doing his best Hamlet impression. To be or not to be. There is nothing in my hands. But I look anyway. Look. I have four fingers. See? One, two, three, four. Anyway. That's Ultron. Seven star. Of course he's seven star. Everybody does seven star. Oh yeah, his passive dope. Not his passive. The only T4 you need to do on this dude is this one. I know a lot of people say, oh, you need to do this one too and this one too. You know, the only one you need to do is that one right there. The second one. Oh, never mind all the rest of them. He works just as fine. At least me. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be T4ing all these people all the time. I, it's, you know, I, I, I'm just not going to do it. That T4 Hawk. Passive. And that's all the T4s you get. I don't care. Unless they come out with an empowered Hawk or something. That's that's about all you're going to get from me. He's a level 2 healer. Hmm. Maybe I should make him a level 3 healer. Get some more health up there. As a matter of fact, that may make him a level 4 healer. He had 20% more health than what he has now. Look at all that health. Woo wee. You could never kill this dude. Yeah. Hawk. We gotta get that level three on you, buddy. Or level four or whatever. Punisher! Now, speaking of T4, you pretty much are forced to do this T4 with the Skilletary team 
because no it's not this one which one is it yeah it's this one see in war if this character has three or more skeletary team members allies or whatever you want to call them then he attacks primary target for 240 damage and 20 percent piercing and then he does his aoe but he doesn't do his aoe so if you so if you don't have this t4 he'll just do his aoe He'd do the 200% damage, 20% piercing. But, if you do this, he will shoot somebody first, and then do the AOE. But you gotta T4 that. So that's sort of forcing you to T4 that one, so that may be a T4 I have to do. Because let's face it, I'm forced to do it. 57,000, Punisher. Six red stars. See, most of these has to do with the red stars, that's why it's so high up. Except this lady, Minerby. And yes, I did T4 that. And I'm going to show you or tell you why I did it. Because 25%. Now, if you don't do it, it's only 5% speed bar. That's 20%. Now, 20 goes into 100 how many times? 5. 25 goes into 100 how many times? 4. So, in a raid, you can actually or she can actually go off that much faster and heal your team that much faster which could be the difference between getting killed and surviving at least another round it works believe me i know a lot of content creators say oh she doesn't need any t4s yeah she probably don't really but that's the only t4 i did and i don't regret it and I made her a level four for to fire because of it. Because she needs to stick around to revive people. Because she's not the greatest healer in the world. I mean, unless she's in a raid with like 10 folks on the other side. I mean, she, you're doing a blitz fight and there's only like five people over there. I mean, yeah, that's not the greatest heal in the world. Although the bleeds are good. But when she's in a raid, or something or one of these dark dimensions where they have a bunch of people over there with all this big health or 10 folks like in a race or six, seven folks yeah she's a good healer then but anyway fortifier because you got to keep her around she's no good to me dead i know a lot of content creators put the old um healer on her but yeah for what she's already a healer why well, do what everybody else do anyway i like to play differently Okay, I put a T4 on uh, her passive long before I, I said I was going to stop doing T4s anyway. Or slow down on them at least. But I did hers. What is she? She's a skirmisher. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. She's the hero brother. So she's the skirmisher, and all the rest of them are strikers or something like that, right? So every time she does her thing and then she gives them an ISO, she hits them again or vice versa whatever however it happens they get three hits 59,000 we know how that goes they get three hits they'll go big hands miss marvel i actually like her she's a good character i mean she's not the greatest in the in the in the game but who, who cares who's the greatest and not the greatest as long as you like the person that's all that matters dr strange i had to do a t4 on dr strange now, a lot of people say he revives two people. You got to be a little careful with that wording when you say he revives two people. He doesn't revive two people. What he does is he will revive a supernatural person. And then he will revive one other ally. Okay? So if you're on a team full of mystics and none of them are supernatural and two of them die. And then when you do this little thing here and he only revives one of them. Well, then you didn't read the instructions one of those guys have to be a supernatural so he always revives one supernatural and then he will revive an ally so on his team in supernatural he revives one supernatural and then he revives an ally which is on the team is all supernatural but let's say you're on a team with like ghost rider and hella and they die well he will revive ghost rider because he's a supernatural and then he will revive hella because she's an ally so, yeah, he does revive two people, but if you put him on a team full of mystics or defenders or something like that, yeah, he's only going to revive one. So, be a little careful with that wording. 
I know a lot of people say, oh, that's, you know, six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Yeah, whatever. And I put Fortifier on him because of that, because he resurrects people. And not healer, Fortifier. Because I want him to stay around so he can resurrect people. It's no good to me dead. Just like Minerva, no good to me dead. Captain Marvel. Um, I put healer on her, level four healer. Don't ask me why. She's bad probably as a striker or a raider or something. I put healer on her. Whatever. I, oh, I know why I did it. Because she's sort of fast. Therefore, she can do her little 10%. You know, well, actually it's 20% now because she's level 4. Do the 20% passive heals quite a bit because she's a fast character. That's why I put heal on her. Basically because she's a fast character. Yeah, she's probably better off as a striker or a skirmisher or a raider or something like that. But, yeah, so what? So, she's at 66,000. So, we're really up to getting to the top. I don't know what number these are. I'm just doing them I, I, I know which, I know who's my top one the top one is Hella so we'll stop there Hamda what are you Raider see I don't know what these things are so that's why I have to look Raider Hamda is a Raider that's pretty much what he does in combos he stands there look at the Bifrost place like that the rainbow bridge I am looking that's all he does he just looks I did a two for on that I must have been looking at one of them YouTube channels. Did they put a T4 here? And I did it like a fool. Okay, and whatever. Probably good T4. It's probably a great T4. Thor. He's the backbone of the Asgardians. A lot of people say Hella is. Eh, Hella is sort of, but this dude is the real backbone. He's the damage dealer. He does his AoEs because, let's think about it. You put him on Wave 1 Avengers. And you're wondering, well, how come this guy doesn't go off as often as he does with the Asgardians? Well, I, one reason for that. Well, two reasons for that. Hela and Loki. Greg, the undead Asgardian, is considered an Asgardian. When Loki does his thing and he has two or three imposters out there, they're also considered Asgardians. So when people start wiping out those Gregs, they were undead as guardians and those cloned Lokis. But guess what? Thor is stupid. He don't he 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 don't know one as guardian from the other. All he knows is you're attacking as guardians. So he's gonna double up much faster and he's gonna AoE you all the time. I mean, Thor just AoEs the heck out of you when he's with the As Guardians. Wait one Avengers, he'll do it maybe once during a fight. Maybe twice if you hit the Hulk a lot trying to kill him because he's taunting but yeah but the Asgardians he does it quite more he does it more often but either way he's the real backbone of the Asgardians so uh, in my little humble opinion my opinion don't mean crap though yeah he's a raider level 3 okay who's next Phoenix okay Phoenix when her event comes up again she'll be a 7 star and she's a level two skirmisher. Um, this form, Phoenix, does gets the benefit of the isolates. Of course, when she, her little suicidal self, when she dies or gets knocked out, and this summon comes up, this thing here, the real what everybody likes about Phoenix is this character here. They, they don't like Phoenix. Let's face it. Phoenix is suicidal. She's not going to hang around that long. They don't like her. This is what they like. This right here. This right here. Make no mistake about it. Dark Phoenix is what everybody likes. Dark Phoenix is what everybody's going for. Dark Phoenix. Not this little... Not this little... Gear 13... Crazy woman right here. She was a standalone character... She'd be dining with Ravager Bruiser. But she's not. Because of her summon. Next up, Sif. Oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna see a lot of Asgardians up here. They're all geared tier 13 because I took them through DD2. Sif, level three healer. Soon to be level four healer. Why? Yeah, because she's sort of fast. And she goes off a lot and somebody has to be a healer on the Asgardians. Actually, they don't have to be because they all heal each other anyway. 
but to have that little bit of extra healing because of Sif. I mean, I could have made her a fortifier, but bah. Why well, make a tank a tank? Why make a tank a healer? You know, that's what these ISOs are for. To put a little different spin on people sometimes. Not to just the same old, same old, boring stuff. Let's, let's, let's do something different with these characters once in a while. Okay? Let's quit doing the same thing to everybody. Everybody has the same stuff on the same people. Bad, that's boring. I don't like boring. Loki, I told you, all these ass guardians. What is he? Is that a fortifier? Yeah, 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 because I don't want him to die either. So he's a level four fortifier. 74,000. We don't want Loki to die. We want him to live. And we want him to have three, not two. I hate this T4, actually. Because it has two or three mirror images. Ugh. Actually, oh, that's because I, I put this T4 in there because the stealth lasts for two, two turns instead of one turn, which is actually pretty damn good. Loki's summons is what keeps him alive and actually keeps Thor going too. Next up, Ghost Rider. Probably my favorite character besides Hela in the game right now. Well, <clears throat> Ghost Rider is like my favorite superhero anyway. So that's why I like him and that's why I have two T4s on him. Even if I get him at seven stars, I probably won't max him out. Well, I might. I have I have hella seven red stars, but I didn't max her out yet. I don't know about I don't know about the max these people out yet or not. I might just to see. Anywho, level three healer, Ghost Rider, heads on the fire, liar liar pants on fire. Not me. Anyway, there he is, at eight grand. Next up. Black Bolt, my first seven star legendary. Shuri is my second seven star legendary. Um, when I re-edit those videos, you will see. Cause I, I, I have videos of Shuri and Black Bolt as seven stars. And I, have, I gotta upload them. Look, Striker, level three. He's a great striker. Now this recommendation I did get from the uh, other content creators. Well, let's face it, he's a great striker. So, why not make him a striker? Ooh, yeah, yeah, my first 100k character, too. That you see, wow. I actually have a 100k character. Who would have thought that six months ago? If you look at my top 20 from four months ago, the first, the highest was like hella 51,000. Now I have a 100k character. Wow. Terrific. I think he's number two, because number one, like I said, is Hella, and here, here is Hella. 105. She's my first 100K character. She is my very first 100K character, because I put her to gear tier 13, but she's a level 73. If you look at Black Bolt, he's level 71. She's the highest one that I have at levels right now. And that's a 73. I'm trying to get her up to 75. It takes a lot of training materials to get up to 75 and all that stuff. Anyway, she's seven red stars. My only seven red star. Everybody else has six. Well, there's a couple six red stars. As you can see, Black Bolt's a six red star. See, uh, Ghost Rider's a six red star. Punisher, wherever you at. Where's Punisher? Now, Punisher's too far down. He's a six red star also. Let's go back to Hella. Lag, lag, lag. Okay, there you go. Hella. Three star Raider. Only because of her AOE. Hey, as a matter of fact, I have enough to make a four star Raider. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen. We are going to see just how high we can take Hella. Four star Raider. Where's the Raider at? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm liking these two. Ooh, I'm liking... Eh, and never mind. Oh, well. I shit the bed and did that for nothing, didn't I? Anywho, 105. So what did I make her better as? Well, she has more armor now. Which is good. She won't get killed as fast. And she has more focus. Which is good because that way she can stick her... Well, she spread those things anyway, right? 
Nah, it's death knives. That's this. Clear three death proof all enemies. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 spread four negative effects. Yeah, well, she has more focus now, so she should really be able to do it. She's a level three raider. And my highest rated two. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Part one of the two part series. Part two, what's coming up new for 2020? Well, 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs>